Welcome back to week seven of the Press Box Preps Edition. I'm Daily Chronicle Sports Editor John Steiff. I'm here with sports reporter Nate Hertz and sports reporter John Sally. Here to talk about the week of prep football. Uh, Genoa Kingston came into the weekend undefeated and came away with its first loss of the season to Oregon. Talk a little bit about the game. It was a 35-20 loss at home to Oregon. Oregon's a very good team. It's the type of team that's going to run the ball all over the place. They did that. Uh, one of the running backs said after the game, it felt like we ran the same play about 50 times. Uh, the backbreaker, though, was a 25-yard uh, touchdown pass with five seconds left in the first half. Put Oregon up two scores and really put the game out of reach. And Genoa is a team that really didn't expect to be 6-0, but talk about their reaction after the game, after they lose that undefeated season they had. You know, they took that loss pretty tough. They, like we said, they, we didn't expect a whole lot out of them, but for them to be 6-0 after the first six games, it really raised the expectations and sort of changed their goals. So for them to lose that first one, especially at home on senior night, it was an emotional loss. All right, and this week it doesn't seem to get any easier as they go on the road to Stillman Valley. It really doesn't. Stillman Valley is undefeated. Their team is going to run the ball a lot, just like Oregon. They'll probably pass it a little more, but it's, it's a road test, and it's another tough game for them. And do you feel like Genoa still has a realistic shot to win this conference title, even though they get that loss to Oregon? If they beat Stillman Valley, they absolutely do, but it depends on that game. All right, and DeKalb comes away with another loss, uh, this time to Camelin, but I guess there were some positives out of it. 21 points scored, that's the second most that they've done in, uh, in the season and the most that they've done in the last three or four weeks. So that's always a good positive. Uh, start off the game with a 92-yard touchdown pass. So, I mean, it looks like the offense is starting to pick up some steam right now. All right, and, and that passing offense seems to be able to uh, come in spurts and then it goes away a little bit. But uh, I, I guess to talk about offensively, what kind of positives you take out of a game against Kamen, who has an improved defense this year? Well, like, like I said, you start off the game with a 92-yard touchdown pass. It's always a great sign to start off with uh, Damian Nelson coming on strong, tw uh, 24 carries on 94 yards. So, I mean, things are looking pretty good right now. All right, and they've got a Batavia team this week that, uh, you know, by college just ran for 321 yards and four touchdowns against Sycamore. What does what a team like uh, DeKalb have to do to stop a kid like that? Well, it's going to be tough. We already saw at the beginning of the year with Matt Karchner running for uh, 412 yards. So, I mean, hopefully uh, DeKalb can get back together and, you know, cause hopefully not another big game. All out. All right, and I and I guess the only thing that stopped Batavia on Friday night against, uh, or stopped by Cabo from Batavia on Friday night against Sycamore was him getting hurt with 10 minutes left in the game. You know, he hit his head on the ground, and that could be a costly injury for Batavia. Anytime you talk about a concussion, it's always a big thing to, to, to worry about. All right, and they've got two weeks before they play Geneva. That'll be their tough game. But uh, Sycamore, it's a tough loss for them. They have two games left. They need both wins to get to the playoffs. But the first one's against Yorkville. And, uh, and as we've seen this year, Yorkville kind of is the team that looks like an automatic win for everybody in the Western Sun. Exactly. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Yorkville the last few years. It's always been like that. I mean, they've always been somewhat of a, of a good program in the Western Sun, actually before that, in the Suburban Prairie. So... Uh, you know, that's always a good sign to have at the end of the year if you're looking at a team that wants to get into the postseason. All right, and we'll have the results of those games, and we'll look forward to the final week, and uh, Sycamore will probably have a must-win game at Gunbar South that was yeah. last week. That'll be uh, to get into the playoffs. Once again, if you guys got any questions for us, send them to sports at daily chroniclecom or uh, you can call us at 815-756-4841, uh, extension 224. Thanks a lot.